What's up, Terrarians? My name is Cargo, and welcome to a brand new series of Hardcore Terraria. We're back in vanilla Terraria, right before actually a major update of 1.4.2, but I really want to just enjoy vanilla while we still have it, you know what I mean? I mean, there's so many mod playthroughs that we can do, so many things that we can do with modded, and I just really, I want to get back into 1.4.1. .1. And so to do that, we're going to try a hardcore series. I don't know how long this is going to last. I'm terrible at hardcore. I've never completed a hardcore playthrough. And I honestly think that we should jump in right into a normal hardcore playthrough where we're not doing expert or master mode. We're just going to chill out. We're going to tr try to learn how to play hardcore. And then we will take it from there. I, I really want in this channel to be able to do a hardcore series where we don't die, whether that be normal, expert, or master mode. I, I want to work my way up. So we've made our character. I mean, and how how great is that name? Hardcore go? Like hardcore, but cargo? I, mean, I think it's pretty, I think it's legendary. We got to make a new name. We, of course, have to do the random name. The Wood of Homicide. <laughs> well, yes. Amazing. We're going to do a medium world, the classic difficulty, and then we're going to do random. That is amazing. I cannot believe it. That should be the world gen of every single hardcore let's play that we do here on the channel. That is incredible. And we got Crimson. I almost said Corruption like six times. <laughs> we got the Crimson Bomb. I'm excited for that because uh, I feel like Icor is going to be, or Icor, Icor or Icor. Do, do you guys know which one it is? Like what it's supposed to be? Let me know in the comments what you prefer to say. Is it Icor or Icor? I don't know. I'm going to say Iker because that's what I usually say it as, but I got roasted on stream for saying Icor once. But uh, I think the Iker uh, book, whatever it is, the, the Iker debuff is going to be really helpful for us. So now we got to find out, what was it called again? The Wood, no, the Wood of Homicide. There we go. <laughs> Amazing. And look at that. We are into our first hardcore let's play here on the channel, and we have a lazy copper pickaxe. Now that's miserable. But hey, look at these trees. These are banging trees. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're not master mode slimes, and I I could not be more excited about that. I don't actually remember the last time that we played 1.4.1, not in master mode or extra mode. I honestly, I don't think I've ever done, or in, in 1.4, I don't think I've done a normal let's play, or like like playthrough, you know what I mean? I never really checked it out, so I'm interested to see what the difficulty might be like. Wow, these are some tall trees. This is incredible. You never get this. I feel like I always get like the tiniest trees. We already have like almost over 200 wood already. Oh my goodness. We can we can build a, a box, a square. We can actually build one. What if we got some really cool builds in this hardcore playthrough? That'd be pretty neat. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe we just stick with the box. But let's explore. I uh, I really want to get the surface. For, like, I, I want to expand the surface. I want to be able to know where we're at. I want to know which, where the dungeon's at. I don't think I want to go into any specific biome. Ooh. The desert biome already. I'm scared. I don't like the desert biome. <laughs> I'd rather find a, a natural cave first. Let's stay out of that for now. Uh, let me make some platforms. Platforms are going to be the number one form of uh, transportation as we get into this. Ooh, that was the tiniest jump ever. Usually they do bigger jumps, do they not? All right. Well, that being said, I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. Weekend. I hope y'all are being safe out there watching your hands, you know, just keeping up because like the Well, I guess some of the world is starting to open up I was gonna say we're still in lockdown, but I mean my state's still in quarantine But I mean like states other states like Florida and Texas. They have no mask mandate stores are opening back up so I mean it looks like for them at least quarantine's kind of getting over with and I That is light at the end of the tunnel. I hope it goes well like to some degree I don't think it is gonna go well because there's still a lot of cases. I don't want to talk about it too much, but uh, <laughs> it, I, I really hope it goes well because I would love to not be, I would like to be open again. You know what I mean? Oh, I guess, I guess we do have a couple of torches. All right, we're gonna be sparing on these, oh, <laughs> we're gonna be sparing on these torches because I don't want to accidentally run out of torches while we're down here. Hey, look at that, more torches. All right, now we're, now we're good. Now we're rich. Um, I would love to find a shrine right off the bat. You know how great that would be? For a, a hardcore let's play, that would be incredible. Now, I have to be very careful because there are enemies down here that would destroy us immediately. Like, a, a dart trap would, like, end our play. That timing. Where is that? Oh, my goodness. That timing. It only did 46 damage, whereas I thought uh, it would do, like, the 76 damage that it does in Master Mode. I forgot they toned it back. 
But wow. <laughs> we were just talking about it. Oh, what? A vulture? Like that? That's messed up. That is actually messed up. Are you serious? I can't believe. Hey, actually, we found a good way. To hey, thank you, Vulture. I didn't think this would work, but hey. I can't believe we got a Vulture like that. That is terrible. That is actually terrible luck. We got a little bit of lead, so we're going to take this. I think we're off to a good start, you know? We killed our first enemy. Well, I guess that slime's an enemy. So we've killed one slime and one Vulture. Farther than uh, what we I thought we would make it initially. Not going to lie, I'm actually I'm terrified that this is going to end in like one episode. Oh, we got our first chest. Hey, it's an aglet and nine bars. That's actually really good. And it gives us that one bonus damage. I'll take it. You know, can't be too picky with the damage out here. We're going to get a rope up here. Look at this. Traveling in style. You have to go a little bit higher. I hate ropes. I absolutely hate the look of ropes. They're very helpful, though. All right. Get out of here, blue slime. I don't want to deal with you. Jump. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Ooh, we're moving our way. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping to actually find like a really good cave system. Like this is looking promising over on this right side. Oh, even the left side looks good. Maybe this connects back. Okay, this is actually, that's not promising at all. Let's go this way. This one looks very promising. It's got a big opening at the end. I want to get this pot though. These pots can have like shurikens and whatnot. <sighs> oh, more rope. Rope is really good for splunking. I'll take it. Are you kidding me? Come on. Can I get like an actual... Uh, biome over here there is a demon altar a crimson altar though i will take that you know a, a nicely placed crimson altar is very handy we might make our our house above here you know in this area that might be good for us i would like that i don't usually make my houses off centered because i hate having to like oh i am being dumb here um i like being able just to hit the home and uh, like hit the magic mirror and just be at home without a bed, but who knows why not do a little off-centered make it make this series a little a little bit different We got a lucky radar with that one very nice I'll take the lucky and then we have another chest right here Hey, and another aglet absolutely useless to us, but we did get more lead with that So I'll take it anything else down here. No, we're looking good I also just realized that we probably didn't take the chest on that last one. Yeah, we definitely missed an opportunity there I always forget to get chests. I don't know why that's such a weird thing for me like, I never remember. Oh, look at that. We actually made that jump. I never remember to grab the chest. I don't know why. That's just a thing that I never do. And uh, I have I have no excuse. I really don't. I've been playing Terraria for quite some time. I feel like I should I should have that habit down, you know? But that's okay. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen, but uh, Elgato actually just came out with a green screen mouse mat, and it's huge. <gasps> a snow biome. Ah, oh, shoot. Do we have bombs or anything? No, we don't. I really don't want to deal with this right now, but I also, snow biome, I mean, I guess it could be good. The only thing is, is like, there's Vikings and whatnot. Snow biomes does have a, a lot of opportunity for loot, though. Like, we get a snowball cannon and all that. Ooh, that's, that's feeling a little bit better. I mean, oh, I missed the crate, or the pot. See, look at all these little lists. I feel like this world gen is bad. We're, we're off to a bad start in the sense of caverns. We haven't gotten really lucky with those. Maybe our first one's going to be really good, and it'll make up for it. All right. Um, but Elgato, yeah, came out with that green screen mat, and it looks so sick. Now, I don't know what I'd use it for, because, I mean, you're not going to be looking at my hands. But I, I, I could think of a couple of ways that we can incorporate it into, like, a stream or something like that. I think it, I, I just love the idea. I also love green screens in general. I love what they're capable of. All right, what, what's this down here? Oh, no. Don't kill me. I just want the pot. Can I, oh, I didn't know I could break pots like that. That was a, uh... An experiment right there. Experiment that uh, was well worth it. Because then we, now we know we don't have to hit enemies to necessarily break pots. Boom. Science. Okay, do we have any recall potions? We do. We are about to end our first day, and we have done absolutely nothing other than get an aglet. And I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. Nighttime will be scary, so we'll probably want to make a house and just hide in it, like we normally do. Or we could work on building, like, a, a cave system. Because that could be something that we do as well. Because I feel like we're going to have to make our own. We haven't had very very much luck with the uh, the natural ones. All right. Do we think this is a sword shrine right here? I'm going to... I think I'm going to take my... Oh, what, the, what is that tiny jump? That is garbage. Okay. Now you, now you do a big jump. <laughs> All right. I see how it is. 
Um, I think I'm going to take the night time and actually dig through this and see what we can get. So let's do, let's block this off. Where's my dirt? There's my dirt. Thank you. Appreciate it. If we get a sword shrine, oh, that would be incredible. That would seriously be amazing. I'd be stoked to get that. Oh, I don't know. I think, I think it's not. I already think it's not. Because the, the green gas, grass background. I never know. See, we got one in the last playthrough, and I really didn't think that it would be one. And I was wrong. I, it was one. And I don't know why it was one. Like, I, like, I know it's like those little, like, crypts that you can kind of see. But I never really find them on the surface. And I feel like that one wasn't super deep. But maybe it is. We'll, we'll just keep digging. All right? We'll, we'll just try to find it. I don't really know what to talk over about, like, in these, like, earlier Let's Plays, or, like, earlier episodes, especially in 1.4.1, and especially in normal mode, where things aren't really going to be hitting so hard. So, I, <laughs> I might be struggling. There might be a lot of jump cuts. I also, like, I remember in the last video, I was talking about how I'm a little sick. I still have something up with my throat. I'm feeling much better, though, energy-wise. So, hopefully that kind of subsides. But... There, like, there might be more jump cuts because of that as well. It's just like my throat gets tired more easily. However, we are not... I mean, I feel like we're pretty far down, you know? Are we just ruining our world gen at this point? Or is this going to be where we make our house? Because we're already... This is this is as far as it gets is making uh, your own little mine shaft right here. All right. I officially think that we are out. That it is not a, a sword shrine. And that's unfortunate. We've dug quite far. And there's nothing here. A frozen zombie. Oh no. We gotta run away. I want this tungsten and then I'm gonna go home. So let me let me grab our dirt. Just hide away from the zombie. That's gonna be our massive technique. It's just turtling up and not letting any monsters hit us. That is gonna be pretty much the only thing that we do. Do we ha we do have a lot of a lot of stone. We have a good amount of torches as well. So we'll be able to make a a furnace and we already have enough lead to make an anvil, so we can actually make a pretty decent sized house. I'm actually uh I'm actually feeling like we're going to be pretty set for the first night. I mean, we could just kind of keep... I mean, this is like nighttime right now. So I'm wondering, do we keep on just getting down here and just doing our own little digging thing as nighttime is in the area? You know what I mean? Because I don't really want to deal with any zombies, even if it is... Even if we have a little bit going on. Actually, you know what? I can actually make all that right here. And then maybe I can get a better weapon to start off with. So let's do this. Let's make a workbench. Let's do a furnace and an anvil. Oh, I feel like a proper speedrunner. Look at this. Okay, and now we can make tungsten bars. And how many do we can make three? That's not going to help us. <laughs> uh, we can make. Oh, did we make a, a leather or uh, a lead broadsword? I feel like that would be pretty useful. We could also make a lead bow. That's seven. Oh, do we make a bow or a broadsword? Or an, a pickaxe, because a pickaxe would be good too. Now let's see, can we make a pickaxe if we do more of this? We can make a pickaxe. It's only six damage. Oh, and it's lazy. I'm going to make a pickaxe, because we're going to be doing a lot of digging. All right, that's good. We're, we're fine, all right? You don't worry about me. Okay, we're just going to keep digging. This is the weirdest little biome I think I've ever seen. So this is a snow biome. That's a snow slime. I'm pretty sure that's a snow house. And then there's also demon altars. And then there's seaweed as if it's in the, the ocean biome. And I'm pretty sure there's hard sand here too. So I think there's like a desert that's about to be right here. I don't, I don't know what's happening. All I know is that there's a gold house or a house with a gold chest in it. And I am so excited at the possibility of getting some Hermes boots or a cloud in the bottle right off the bat. Even like a, even something simple, like a, uh, what am I saying? A band of regeneration would be amazing. That'd be super awesome. I wouldn't mind that at all. Um, but a, a blizzard in a bottle would be so sick. I would greatly appreciate that. So I got to figure out a, a neat little way to kill this guy without actually getting the possibility of getting hurt by this dude. Okay, so it's not an ice chest. So we are looking at best case poss po uh, possibility of having the Hermes boots or the cloud in the bottle. And I don't know which one we're going to get. Boom, shoe spikes. You know what? Actually, not the worst thing ever. We did get some bombs too, which is helpful. And we got the American explosive. Uh, I'm okay, actually. I'm, I'm going to leave that one here. That's a, You get to have that souvenir. 
Uh, I like the shoe spikes. A, it's three defense, and then also we uh, we're gonna get pretty lucky and be able to climb up our walls and do stuff like that. That's pretty nice. I'll take that. We could get some tiger claws pretty quickly. So that's good. I also found 12 topaz. So if you get three more topaz, I can make a hook, which would be amazing. Because a hook in early game changes changes everything, honestly. It's a game changer. I mean, it it's an amazing way to have evasive maneuvers against mobs and stuff like that. I think we made the right decision and, and just keep digging down. And now we actually have bombs. And so I'm going to do this technique. One, two, three. I'm always scared that I'm going to blow myself up, so I always give myself plenty of time. One, two, three. Ooh, ooh, get me out of here. I hate it so much. Especially without a hook. Come on. Ah, oh, it's just a baby little area. I thought it would be more. All right, anything over here that would be noteworthy? Anything? Because I'm looking at topaz. I'm looking at anything, you know? No, nothing. Useless. Minuscule. All right, well, let's keep going. Keep bombing this way. Dude. I hate it so much. Oh, a little area right here, maybe. Let's check it out. Something good. Ooh, I see a little bit of tungsten. I'll take a, I'll take a little bit of tungsten. Anything else down here? Man, this this area, I just this is all manual labor. Okay, there's there's nothing uh, nothing natural or lucky about this. I just wish we had a uh, a watch already so I could tell what time it was, because I am gonna have no frame of reference about what I'm doing or what time it is. All right, let's dig this way then. Bombs this way. Do you guys like the idea of a hardcore challenge playthrough? I know there's a, a lot of amazing hardcore players out there. My main inspiration being Badger. The dude is an absolute legend and I could only aspire to be that type of skill in Terraria. I mean, I've got four and a half thousand hours to catch up on him. So I feel like even though like, he's extremely skilled. I feel like we can get to that level at 5,000 hours. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not I'm not going to say definitely. He's an amazingly talented player. Loves the game a lot. Knows a lot about the game and the mechanics. I don't know very much. I'm not I'm not one to be in the forums of speedrunners and hardcore players. So, I don't know best practices. I only know from, like, watching, like, Sefi and, like, those kinds of people. But, <laughs> I, got, I watched Chippy Gaming's hardcore playthrough. And, uh, the guy's goaded, okay? He knows everything about Terraria. <laughs> If you've watched that, then you know that is not the case. <laughs> Shout out to Chippy, though. Okay, we have an opportunity to either die here or get some flinks fur. And I don't know... Oh, please. Oh, my gosh. I think a pickaxe was actually the best thing we could have done for ourselves, honestly. Because that low knockback, high damage, high use speed, and it's a large pickaxe, which means it's, like, it's just bigger and better, you know? It has more range for this type of maneuver. <gasps> Two flinks for... Oh, another one? Okay, let's see if we can trap this one a little bit better. So I don't want him to get out of it. Come on, come on. Drop down. Okay, I'm terrified. All right, now we block... Oh, okay, only hits 20. The other... The, like, master mode flinks just hit so hard. They'd be like... I'd be so much... I'd be so terrified if this was master mode right now. I'd be on the edge of my seat. But knowing this is normal mode actually gives me a lot of peace inside. So uh, I'm excited. Hopefully we get some good flinks for it and then we can start finding some platinum. Okay, looking good. Let's uh, let's drop some rope down. See if he can survive. I can't see a thing. And I'm terrified. <gasps> Our first life crystal. Heck to the yes. And another flinks. Get over here. I'm going to kill you. I'm gonna take your flinks fur. Okay, he doesn't know how to jump. That's okay. We'll 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 make it easier for him. No, no, flinks, flinks. Mr. Flinks, can you come this way, please? Oh, he's coming. All right, he's he's, he's on his way. Don't get stuck down there. Perfect, perfect. I don't want to get Mr. Jellyfish in the way. I need topaz. Now we see amethyst. That's all right. And now we get some more flinks fur. Oh, this is gonna take forever, isn't it? All right, maybe we get this way. Now we hit him into the wall. Oh, oh, we're doing it. This is this is technique right here. This is professional Terraria. This is it. <laughs> one of the comments recently, and one of the, I don't remember which video it was, because I, I just read all the comments. So sometimes there's a way to see uh, comments by video, and there's a way just to see all of the most recent comments. Uh, if I after I post a video, I try to stay in the, in that video's comments, and then after a while, I'll like go back to looking at everybody's comments on all the videos. So I don't know exactly which video this is off of. But somebody was like, 
Hey, you touch your face a lot. Why do you touch your face so much? Stop touching your face. Your hands are dirty. <laughs> and I was like, first of all, I wash my hands. My hands are clean. Okay, guy? <laughs> you don't have to judge me that way. But second of all, I don't know why I touch my on my face so much. It's like my best like uh, theory is that I have some sort of like nervous tick that makes me do it. But I'm not nervous while talking to you guys. Maybe I just don't know what to do with my hands. Maybe I'm just like, you know, stroking my wannabe beard. Just be like all cool looking. I don't know. I really have I have no clue. There is no purpose for me to do it. So I'm gonna try my best to not touch my face throughout this episode. Cause you are right. There are oils on your hands that actually make uh, you break out with like acne and whatnot. Um, thankfully, I don't often break out in acne. Cause I probably cause I do wash my hands so much, and I don't and I when I touch my face. But anyhow, that being said, I've actually been <laughs> I've been blessed <laughs> with gorgeous skin. Man, this is really devolving. <laughs> I don't, please, I'm, I'm probably gonna cut that out. <laughs> that's that's weird to say. I don't, that, yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> All right, so we got a few enemies over here. So I'm gonna actually do this, that, and this. And we've gathered quite a bit of tungsten. So I'm hoping we can make a better tungsten weapon and go from there. Oh, we can also make a helmet already? Wow. All right, so I say we make a bow, you know, that's good. We do that, and then we make a tungsten broadsword. All right. Oh, wow, we can still make more. Um, maybe make a tungsten hammer. Oh, wait, we can make a tungsten pickaxe. No, no, no. Let's keep our tungsten. Maybe we can make some armor out of it. So there should be plenty of weaponry for us. Um, I will say, like, playing other games like Valheim and whatnot have really made me appreciate how good Terraria's, like, exploration phases of the game are okay oh this is so much better um like ore mining in valheim is literally the bane of my existence it is it is awful <laughs> the fact that like you have like a 10 percent chance of actually getting the ore that you spend so much time mining for and then like the veins are so small they're unrewarding it's just miserable wow we just made a tungsten sword we just wasted what is that like seven bars Okay game, I see how it is, but that's all right because we got some amazing loot right there. We don't need shurikens anymore We don't need sand blocks. Actually, we probably do need sand blocks uh, I won't take hardened sand and let's just get rid of that one silt One slush or three slush tin don't need you and I think we're good So I'm gonna take this now <gasps> and there's more tungsten up there or not tungsten platinum. I don't want to oh. I really need some ice skates because I, I hate breaking ice. I like the effect of ice like the like when there's a bunch of ice chunks, and I like breaking through that, but I hate breaking ice when I'm trying to like uh, explore underneath or like in the, you know what I'm talking about. I hate breaking through ice when I don't want to. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. All right. It's getting too dangerous for my liking down here. I don't, I don't like it one bit. I got too many enemies. I'm scared. I'm going to head home and look at that. It's the middle of the day. So with that being said, I think I'm going to build a house. And then end the episode there. I think this has been a really good first episode. We've done a lot. We got a lot of platinum, tungsten. I might head back to the Flink's Fur. Uh, just to get some more. Uh, or back to the Ice Bound to get more Flink's Fur. So we get our first summon. Because who doesn't like having to summon and hang out and do more damage? You know, I mean, feel, that feels pretty bomb. How did I make this jump? Did I not go over this the first time? <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Yeah, there's no way I did that. Oh, and, and it's the windy day. I didn't even realize it was the windy day event. Amazing. I love the windy day. Does isn't don't we have like an increased luck on the windy day? Or is that just the opportunity to get luck potions because of ladybugs? I don't actually know if you get extra luck on the windy day itself. I'd be curious about that. I don't I don't know that. Alright, so this is the beginning of the cargo, hardcore cargo house. I uh did, did a little bit of building. You know, it's not done yet got a lot of final touches but i like it you know it's something interesting it's better than a box so i'll take it for now that is going to be the first episode thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this video if you like this series go ahead and skelly man hand slap that like button for me and let me know in the comments whether you want to see more episodes of this or not i would really appreciate it it means so much that i know your input because i want to make content that is both enjoyable for me to make and also for you to watch so please let me know in the comments i would greatly appreciate it otherwise stay awesome and i will see you all in the next video bye